Hey guys, it's Cassie, and today I have a very special guest. This is JD of JD Fine. Hi, how are you? She is a fabulous luxury fashion personal shopper. Thank you. So in today's video, we are going to be learning all about personal shopping, what that means, what is it, how much does it cost, all of that, mm -hmm. what's the process. I'm excited. Me too, me too. Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? Uh-huh. Never. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Cassie. Really, it's such an honor to be here. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, you know, I have never really done this kind of video before. So if I'm twisting my tongue and nervous, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, yeah, so my name is JD. I'm the founder of JD Finds, a personal um, shopping and luxury uh, concierge uh, based in New York City. I founded the company about three years ago. Actually, this month is almost three year anniversary for me. Oh, yeah. Exciting. So uh, three years. Yeah, three yeah. years. Um, so it's been a crazy, crazy ride, super fun, and um, I get to do what I love literally every single day. It's mm -hmm. a dream. So what I do is I help clients find, source, and shop all of their luxury pieces that they actually want. Like either mm -hmm. they're too busy or don't have time or just simply cannot find it. Mm -hmm. I also have transitioned into sometimes like styling clients because they trust what I'm recommending, what is the newest and greatest, and okay. I send them options. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's become, you know, not just personal shopping and sourcing, but more also styling as well. And so, how much does it cost to use a personal shopper? Very, very good question. And I want to say, um, it really depends on every single personal yeah. shopping company. because. Mm -hmm. Every company is different, but in general, I would say it's varying three things, like could be flat rate, mm -hmm. could be person percentage, mm -hmm. it also could be hourly rate. I don't know, sometimes it may take um, hours or like months to store something, okay. but okay. it's very different between companies. So okay. I would say my recommendation is always um, ask the personal shopper or stylist, like mm -hmm. how much are you charging for certain things. For JD Finds, for example, it really would depend a couple of things. Like it would depend on the hours that it's going to take for sourcing and mm -hmm. which country is coming from because if we're sourcing globally, which is, you know, most of the time, and also like the local sales tax, local currency, especially now the currency is going like this. Yeah. And uh, international shipping and the duties and taxes related. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sometimes not that transparent with some companies like how much they're charging for things so for you like you're happy for people to send you a dm and be like i really like these shoes how much do you think it would cost for absolutely to absolutely mm -hmm. for, for jd finds one thing is very important is transparency and honesty because mm -hmm. really like that's that's everything. That's my brand. It's credibility. Yeah. I have many times, and even I would, you know, propose like send me the photo of what you're looking for. What is the size? If it's relevant, but I would always say where are you located. Let me provide you yeah. an estimated cost range because mm -hmm. I have an idea of the shipping. If we're, sh uh, you know, sourcing internationally yeah. and etc., and I would provide to you a cost range if I source locally versus globally. And and if you're comfortable with this cost range, yeah. then I'm happy to source for you. How did you start? on your personal shopping journey? Well, um, it's it's a long journey, really, quite frankly. I, um, I will say this, I have always loved, mm -hmm. loved luxury fashion. When I was young, uh, my mom would always have her Louis Vuitton bag or like she always take us to shopping like a Versace back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I, when she goes to work, I would go to her room and I would like look through her closet, like mm -hmm. I would climb up to get all the shoes and would take them all out and like, ex ex sorry, the water, it's fine. examine them. Like I would look at them and wear them mm -hmm. and like, you know, model. Like yeah. I don't know why I would do that. I'm like less than 10 years old and <laughs> put them back. I Even paint it. my nails and my mm -hmm. mom comes back, I'm like trying to hike. I've always loved it. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like until very recent year, I was in a quest of Figuring out like my passion, I've always worked in luxury fashion corporate from accounting, finance, and then I work in the corporate. And I and then COVID hit. I just right before COVID hit, actually, I really it was just divine timing. I started doing um, JD Finds. I posted mm -hmm. pictures, and I start getting um, clients asking for these. If you remember, the first source um, I had done for a Tunisia client, and I'm still sourcing for her. Mm -hmm. I'm very very grateful for her for trusting me was um, these Chanel PVC slides. 
back in 2019. Oh my gosh, I know the ones. They had a heel. And yeah. it's that Chanel. There's one yes. one style, or it's in the blue. It, in the black, blue, and oh, you know all that. Gosh. It was just crazy. Yeah, that one, that was a good one. Yes. Yeah, so, so that was how I started. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I literally stayed up all night looking for them, mm -hmm. um, and I found them for her. But what was crazy is that I started the company, and then um, also with the background that I've worked with different fashion, luxury fashion corporate, I have contacts. And then COVID hit, and then all the stores shut down, and that's when my business just exploded. You know, mm -hmm. like because people can't get what they want yeah. so they have to use personal shoppers mm -hmm. and I think that's also when a lot of people started personal shopping as well what then would you say is the reality of personal shopping versus the misconceptions or what it seems people think of it absolutely this is one of the things that I think um, a lot of people may not know mm -hmm. is that I, I may look very fabulous now <laughs> If you caught me on the street on a regular day, I I am without makeup. I am in I'm in chic sweats. I'll say, I'll tell you I'm always looking chic. But I I am running Asia time, Paris time, yeah. London time, Dubai time, tracking, and then texting so many people, clients, essay like for multiple. Like if you don't enjoy being in this constant ding 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 ding, your phone yeah. is blowing off, you know. Mm -hmm. And then always like keeping tap of like almost like keeping a pulse on every single person. What do you get? Like da da da. Like so super fast rapid like mm -hmm. energy exchange that's my life and then mm -hmm. on, on top of that I have to keeping my operation flowing my assistance from you know multiple location yeah. my shipping things making sure things are like I'm very strict like I'm very like quality and mm -hmm. customer service is top of the list for me like yeah. you have to know what the client order how the ship like all of that so I'm constantly keeping tabs on that as well mm -hmm. it, it could be stressful yeah people mm -hmm. but the perception is I am sipping champagne <laughs> at Chanel store or at Hermes store, mm -hmm. sipping coffee and uh, swiping credit card and shopping. Yeah. Which is true too. That is true too. I'm swiping my credit card. Don't get me wrong, but I'm definitely not sipping champagne. Um, yeah, it's very much I'm running a business and yeah. I'm go, go, go and hustling. So you're out here. Your phone in one hand, sweats on, she's running up Madison Avenue, she's in Soho, <laughs> she's, she's in and out of the boutiques, right? What then are the biggest rewards to you? Is it when you get those messages from clients saying, oh my gosh, it's arrived and it's everything I hoped it would be? Because also I'm assuming that you're getting a lot of clients from countries that maybe don't have a lot of these luxury stores. Mm -hmm. And so you are really their only way in you know, for the things that they want or whatever without them, you know, flying outside of their country and so on and so forth. What are the rewards? And also, what are the challenges? Yes, absolutely. Listen, um, the rewards are so, um, so many, like there are multiple, when the, but, but the first thing is such a joy of making my client happy and hearing them like, oh my God, Jenny, yes, you know, like I want it, like yeah. that really is, makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think it's the paradigm of service. Mm -hmm. Oprah always says this service, like it's not just about the luxury good, but it's the time and energy that you're trying to find something. And also the high, I get a high. Of, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's addicting. So when are we going to rehab? Never. <laughs> Um, I get so high, like when yeah. I like, find something. Oh my god, yes! Like no, like like it's so fun. Um, it. It's multiple things, and um, you know. Also, I get super rewarding developing relationship. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the clients that I have like gather and worked hard for. Like now, they just trust me, and mm -hmm. and it's become more like friendship. You know, yeah. like I see them when they're in town, mm -hmm. like and the relationship I have with the brands, with the essays. Like, yeah. I'm like, you know, good friends with them. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's work. I treat it very professional, but at the same time, like, that trust. So it's yeah. also very much relationship. Every single job, I don't care what you do, there's yeah. always rough days. Yeah, yeah. Um, challenges. Um, you know, like, sometimes you have some, I would say, rude clients. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, on social media, mm -hmm. when your profile is public, you are going to have some people are going to 
shoot you not so kind message mm. or like just say I don't want to pay for your service speed but I want the shoe and it's it, it yeah it, it, it's just that it handling these kind of things with grace mm -hmm. or just walk away from it it's very important um so so you know you have clients that are kind of you know a lot not so nice but then but then also um and we're going to cover the topic the mm -hmm. brands i sometimes are rules are changing you have to navigate challenging you know yeah talking about some of these rules yes oh my gosh how do you then navigate them so my top two really i would say is that we know that chanel is doing you know two classic bags per what is it month or something like per things. year yeah. uh, per year yes oh god per, uh, uh so okay tell you tell me yes so so <laughs> So, so other than Chanel, there is also MS. MS, right? Like these are the namely kind of everybody knows about their rules. Mm -hmm. Chanel has recently implemented um, a lot of rules in, and also many price increase. Mm -hmm. um, I would say um, their rules are different from country to country. Okay. For example, if you are buying in France, mm -hmm. as of now, today, as we film, um, you can only buy one bags per two months. Okay. Which is even wait like classic bag or bag bags oh, in general. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So seasonal included. Correct. Correct. In UK, I believe you can buy bags one per month, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, in US, one per month as well. But classic in US mm -hmm. is two per year. So the rest of the bags okay. you can get is fashion bags. Uh -huh. So forget about your mini, mini top handle, small, medium, classic, jumbo. You can only get two per year. Mm -hmm. you, you just kind of have to stay on your radar exactly. with these rules. So I know for Hermes, for like Birkins and Kellys, you don't sort of offer that. Yeah. So it's only like very extenuating circumstances that you offer this service or whatever. Am I right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, so for Hermes, Birkin and Kellys, because... JD finds only source directly from the boutique. Authenticity is very important for me um, mm -hmm. and also for my clients. Mm -hmm. I think that the only way we can guarantee that it's authentic is from the store, from Agreed. direct source. Mm -hmm. But overall for Hermes, Birkin and Kelly's, I only accept clients' requests if I have been working with that client for a long time. Yeah. And I trust them and mm -hmm. I know that they're good for their worth, they mm -hmm. will pay because I can't go to the store and say, wait, let me wait for the client to reply. Oh, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like it, they're mm -hmm. going to be like, like, this ticket or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, because when you, yeah, when you got somebody offer, over there, the correct. Yeah, yeah. Like, when they offer you a bag, you take it and run, <laughs> you know, like, it, it, before it, they change their mind. Correct. <laughs> exactly. Um, and it's a very honorable, like, it's just, it's, it's a special moment. Yeah. So I don't offer this to any clients. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also, so a reason that these brands have these rules is to stop resellers right mm -hmm. so on the topic of resellers i know that some people don't really know the difference between a personal shopper and a reseller yeah please elaborate yes very very good point and this is oh my god i'm so happy that we're covering this and i would say that even brands are confused themselves mm -hmm. i think i would say that even there are three like stylist mm -hmm. personal shopper or reseller okay what is a stylist personal stylist stylist is someone who is consulting and advising you what to wear, when to wear, how to wear it, mm -hmm. and you pay them a fee for it. Number two, personal shopper. Personal shoppers is someone who is going to help you shop and source things. So mm -hmm. either you don't have time, or you don't have, um, you can't find it, mm -hmm. or you simply are trying to give someone, like your wife, as a surprise, I have many of that as well, or mm -hmm. you're like, I want these um, Hermes Teddy Arongs and mm -hmm. I can't find it in my size, can you help me? And mm -hmm. I'm going to help you source and I charge you a service fee. Mm -hmm. Reseller, on the other hand, they basically will get the product and they make it two, three times or even four times or five times the price knowing that it is not available in the boutique. Mm -hmm. For example, Dior Jordan sneakers, two, three years ago when they offered, it was like about $2,000, yes. $3,000 at the yeah. retail. But because you can't have it, mm -hmm. they will sell it for $20,000. This is what I think is gonna happen with the Louis Vuitton Nikes. Yeah, so yeah. that is reselling. Mm -hmm. 
or mini Kelly, you know, mm. they will jack it up between thirty to forty thousand yeah. dollars. Go on any of these websites, which I will not name name, but mm -hmm. like thirty, forty thousand dollars for a mini Kelly bag, regular leather. Mm -hmm. So that is reselling. It's okay. jacking it up to like, you know, multiple yeah, times. Because the price. they know that it's a hot piece, they That's know it. that it's not easy to get. That's it. Okay. Exactly. So I have two questions here. Mm -hmm. What are the all the time most popular items you get requests for? And then what are like the new items that people are asking a lot for now? Three items that mm -hmm. I constantly, constantly get, even until today. Um, number one, Hermes sheep sandals. Oh yeah. Or some people call them Cipre. Mm -hmm. They they are they still are some of the hardest to find yeah. sandals. I get a lot of requests. I have sourced many, many pairs. Mm -hmm. Number two, Chanel dad sandals. <laughs> I have my opinion about that. Um, I have sourced. Wait, this is how we're gonna know your opinion. Do you have a pair? I do have a pair. However, I have mm -hmm. the original. <laughs> when I talk about original, uh, I'm talking about the first generation. Okay, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Now they come up with. And I'm very honest with my opinion. Now they come up with the horse pony hair. Oh yeah, I saw that. And like, there, there's just way too many. Like, for me, the advice is stick to the original. And I still have clients. Mm -hmm. I actually don't have a lot of clients asking for the new variation. Okay. I still have clients asking for the black caviar with gold hardware or the so black. And uh, that is the. All. I literally have source pile over 300 pairs oh of my those. Gosh. Yeah, dad sandals. Okay. The third one is the shoe queen herself, Amina Mwadi. <laughs> Uh, her Begum styles, mm -hmm. um, the clear ones. Oh, the Cinderella. The Cinderella. I know it's been a while, but every time when she had those drops, mm -hmm. it's always so that I still have clients asking for them. And then the most recent ones, what's hot? Yes. Number one, CC sneakers. <gasps> yes. The CC, I also have a pair. CC sneakers, it comes in a couple variations. This comes, is this is the Chanel sneaker for the logo home. Yes. This yes. <laughs> yeah, so there is a CC sneakers. Mm -hmm. It shows like I call them CC like obviously. Like there is also two style that comes in like the shadow CC. So it's more subtle. Mm -hmm. So it came, it came in like couple variation, but overall it's the CC sandals from 22A. And the second one that um, right now I get a lot of requests for is the Sherling uh, fuzzy sheep sandals a lot. Oh, a lot. The, yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah. it comes in rose pink. It comes mm -hmm. in orange. It mm -hmm. will come in brown um, and then men also have them it's a fuzzy one sheep sandal again and then also um, Chanel has the swimwear from 22 SS two collection ago as of now but mm -hmm. it is the with the little white right, with the little white yes, CC yes yeah, yes one piece nice. and yeah. the swim and that is also like people are going on summer holiday now you know mm -hmm, people exactly. are usually going on holiday in July and August so I get a lot of requests over and over and over again and how hard are they to find very hard um, because listen it's frankly good. it's just the price point is good and it's easy pieces to get like in terms of like you know having something Chanel it's not to say it's impossible mm -hmm. but you know shoot me a request and mm -hmm. I'm going through my best Fendi purple sequins <gasps> baguette that I sex still get yeah mm -hmm. sex and a city baguette I still get a lot of requests for because it's nowhere to be found mm -hmm. um, and the last thing is um, recently Chanel also released some of the new uh, 22 B beanies CC beanies. Oh. Usually during summertime, the savvy um, shoppers will already get the beanies because by the time winter is hit or you feel good this luck. chills, good luck. Mm -hmm. Not there. Well, it's been fantastic having thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. Me too. Thank you so much. Really. No, 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 of course. Go follow JD, right? Because for personal shopping, yes, but also this one has taste. Oh, okay? thank you. No, thank it's you. true because the things that you post, I'm always like, oh. <gasps> How have I not seen this? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So you always you always know the right things to Yeah, thank to, you. To thank you. Obviously. Like whatever I post on my Instagram post, I think maybe this is also why um you know I, I have cult this following is mm -hmm. because I honestly do not post on my Instagram anything that I don't love. You, yeah. Like if I have a billion dollar, mm -hmm. I buy them all. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so let's make it right. Um, yeah, so I only post things I love. Because if I don't love it, why am I recommending to my clients? Yeah, right? exactly. I'm going to leave a link to another video somewhere here in case you haven't already seen it. Go and follow JD. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are. In the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.